venture into what may be dangerous waters here. And I, uh, as we were prepping for this, I mentioned um, a, a thing that Victor Glover, Ike, who's getting ready to fly uh, on the Boeing CST-100, well, SpaceX, I take that back. I think Ike is on the on the next Crew Dragon mission. Is that right? Somebody help me here. Um, but <laughs> he was he's a big he's a big social media guy, and he was tweeting something about Black Lives Matter, and and he got a, a really irate response that said, "Hey, why can't you just talk about space?" And uh, he said, "I would love to, except space is people, and uh, and unless we get the people thing straight, then we can't do space successfully." What I, what our job is now, we're all space communicators in, in a way, is to help people on Earth understand that it's because of the things that we've been able to do in space, the advances that we've been able to make. I talked about Peggy's experiment. That was way back in, in 1994 when we flew that mission. And uh, I, I don't even, my math is bad, so I'm not even going to try to guess how many long years ago that was. But we're still trying to figure out how to do the kinds of things that she was trying to do to make the world better. And, um, and sometimes it's the microgravity environment of space uh, it enables us to do things a lot quicker uh, because the body gets old quicker in space. So we can see things that that's not accurate. Dr. Whitson, you can correct me. I, I just say it gets old. It feels old. Um, but but processes occur much quicker in space than they do down here. So um, the value of space is that it helps us to solve a lot of the major problems that we we have been unable to solve down here, which I think will make society much better in the long run. So I think it's absolutely vital. They're, they're both necessary. I, I think it's a, honestly, it's a false choice to have to pick between space exploration and trying to solve the world, the world's problems on Earth. I mean, it, they are one and the same. And just think of the money that we spend exploring space as an investment, because that ends up getting, you know, multiplied significantly by the all the positive effects that it has on humanity, whether it's STEM education or medications or technology advancements, it's really, um, it, it is money very, very well spent. Yeah, and I'd kind of harken back to the the international cooperation aspect of it. I mean, to get comp to get countries to cooperate in space, it, it happens naturally because you're in this foreign environment where there's this tiny foothold where humanity's living off the planet. And we're living off the planet as one crew. We got, you know, we may have European, Japanese, Canadian, American astronauts all together working together. And they work as one team. They solve problems together, fix things together, and they live together and they they, they learn from each other. And the, the amount of cooperation is absolutely amazing. You know, from a intergovernmental standpoint, there's not a lot of whole pl big places that are keeping the United States and Russia together right now. But boy, on the space program, they are. You know, we treat each other like brothers and sisters. Uh, we, we really do take care of each other. And when you're sitting up there from that vantage point and you look down at the earth with no borders and you see that, boy, there's a, a, a lot more we have in common then we have differences. When you look at that thin blue line on the edge of the earth, that's the atmosphere, just this tiny sliver, and that's all that keeps us alive. And you see that from space. And when you have a chance to experience that with people from other countries, it forms a bond. And you take that bond, you take that experience back to your countries, and it really does bring us closer together. I think you guys said it all very well. I, I would add that I, I think there's something more of a philosophical thing about exploration and why we do it. I think we have done it forever and it's always, you know, what's over the next mountain, what's what's over across the ocean. Uh, this is just the next ocean. And so I, I think from a philosophical perspective, it's something we're going to do no matter what. And so uh, it, it's a, a great way to do it because of the side benefits of all the technological advancements that go along with that and the international cooperation. So it's, it's all to me a, very much a combined thing.